Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Monday morning meditation. I am coming to you from a car, obviously. I am um, back in Nashville with my parents. My dad is having a procedure done today, so I'm at the hospital with my mom. Um, all is well, just, um, just here to be supportive. Um, and anyway, I just thought, what a great opportunity to demonstrate that meditation can be done quite anywhere. So I am in this lovely parking lot. It's very green here, lots of green grass and green trees and cicadas in the air and uh, smoke from Canada and all of that. So, um, so here we are. And, and for today, I was thinking, I actually had a dream this weekend um, about cockroaches. And I was in the dream and all these cockroaches were coming around my feet and I was stepping on them and just trying to get them away. And it wasn't a very long dream. I woke up pretty quickly. Um, you know, it's right before I woke up anyway. And usually I would think, oh my gosh, there's something coming up, you know, that is bugging me or, you know, whatever. And I just, I just felt that this was um, showing me about stepping on, <laughs> stomping out old thought forms and false beliefs and the kinds of things we talk about on Monday morning meditation anyway, you know, just clearing out of our mind, of our inner space, those negative thoughts and beliefs that um, that come up when we're meditating, when we're walking around in the daytime, anytime they come up. And um, as I was working with that and thinking about it, I also was remembering the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? And some of you may have seen that. It was, oh my gosh, a long time ago. Um, I should have looked that up before we started, but it was, gosh, probably 20 years ago maybe, and um, maybe maybe more than that. Anyway, I'll find out and I'll post it in when I post the video for today. But um, in that movie, there's a place where um, the woman, um, the main character is of these little cartoon blob characters. There's red ones, there's you know, that are coming and kind of chasing her while she's on the dance floor at a wedding reception and they're chasing her and they're all her negative beliefs about herself, about her attractiveness, about her worth and um, her life. And they're coming up and they're starting to crawl all over her. And, and she, she looks at them and she's like, what do you, yeah, oh, get off, you know, and she starts stomping on them and squishing them. And so as I was kind of associating my, my dream with that um, movie, it was just a confirmation that, um, that this is what, this is how, or a, a tool, a tool, again, using imagination um, to clear our inner space. It's a tool to stand up to those negative beliefs that come to the surface because they're not true but they they crawl up like little bugs sometimes they crawl up and they take over and we can feel scared of them or we can feel victimized by them or we can feel grossed out by them or um you know all the other feelings that we have when we have those negative beliefs but one thing we don't want them to do is crawl all over us and take us over Right. And sometimes that happens. And then we kind of kind of clear that out and go, OK, I need to like pull myself up here. I kind of fell down into a negative cycle of thinking. I need to pull myself back up and clear everything out and be more of a, an exterminator <laughs> for my higher self, for my internal peaceful state. And really, when we're doing our meditation time, meditation is not just about being able to be quiet all the time. 
that's wonderful if you can be, but if you have a human brain, that probably isn't the way it works for you any more than the rest of us. <laughs> so what we do a lot of times in our meditation is we spend that time clearing out those negative thoughts and focusing on our peaceful inner state and, and moving those negative thoughts out and not believing them, not buying into them, not thinking that the cockroach of a thought is more powerful than our ability to stamp it out <laughs> with, um, with our foot, with our internal foot. Um, so anyway, um, other visualizations that we've used on Monday morning meditation is, you know, like, um, you know, watching our thoughts and seeing them as clouds going by. And sometimes it's that easy where we just say, oh, that's just a, that's just a thought. I don't need to pay attention to that. But those are more often the neutral thoughts. When those negative thoughts or the fears come in, judgments, anger, there's a time to journal about those. There's a time to kind of process through those. But when our, we're in our meditation time, it's our time to practice holding that space open and wide and clear for ourselves. So we are going to work with that work with that today. So I invite you to get comfortable in your seat, wherever you are. I'm going to take a couple of deep breaths to let our mind-body system know that we're changing gears, that we're focusing internally. Even if we can hear things externally, that's okay. We focus on our breath to further calm the mind-body system down, to synchronize our mind and our body through that breath. Sometimes our mind can be 50 steps ahead or 50 steps behind where our body is and our body is our anchor. It's not who we are, but it's that vehicle that we are anchored in. And her breathing helps us be present in the body, in the present moment. You let that breath be from the belly versus the lung action. Our lungs will move naturally as we pull the breath in with the movement of the belly expanding as we breathe in. Contracting towards the spine, doesn't have to be all the way, just contracting back a little bit towards the spine as we breathe out. Let your focus be on your breath for a few minutes. If you want to use the quick breath technique that we use, that heart math technique, and feel free to do that. It's just so helpful to give the mind a job to do, counting to the count of four, breathing in. And breathing out to the count of four.
I invite you to find where you feel most centered today in your body, where you feel most calm, grounded, neutral. Let it be somewhere outside of your head. Perhaps it's your heart center, your bottom in the chair, your feet on the floor, and your back leaning against support. Let your breathing continue as you let your attention rest right where your center is. As your attention rests in your grounded place in your body, just notice how the rest of the body follows. Relaxing, becoming more and more still. More and more relaxed. Just notice the thoughts that come to mind without getting into a conversation with them, without engaging them or identifying with them. Notice. Allow your attention be in your center. As we sit and be aware of what we're noticing, perhaps your mind is quiet and focused on relaxation of your whole mind body system right now. Perhaps your mind is loud with today's to do list. I invite you just to notice that and let it go. Keep letting it pass by.
sometimes it takes more effort to release those thoughts as they come up. You can find your own image that helps you return your attention, your awareness to your center. Perhaps the thoughts are bubbles, soap bubbles floating up. Maybe you let them just keep going and popping on their own in the air. Maybe you see yourself with a little stick or a pen and you pop them. And let your awareness return to your center. It's the purpose of being present, the purpose of meditation isn't to always be in the mind, letting go of thoughts either. It's about that space once the thoughts pass by. That stillness, that quietness. That peace. That quiet <clears throat> and that peacefulness is our natural state, even though it doesn't feel like it sometimes. Sometimes it's not our habitual state, but it is certainly our natural state.
and then the sounds from outside and just experiences passing by. Cars, the airplanes, the neighbors, cicadas, or pets. All are just experiences passing by. And we don't judge them any more than we spend time judging the thoughts that go through the mind. Just let them pass, let them be, let them pass. They always do. And it doesn't matter that you come and go from that peaceful place. Just bring yourself down each time to your center, gently with compassion. Such a beautiful skill to build bringing our attention back to our center. Not just in our meditation time, but throughout the day.
so many thoughts and emotions and opinions and attachments we've gathered along the way on our journey of life. So nice to get a break from them. We are passing experiences. And if we really pay attention to the patterns of thoughts that we have and analyze them, maybe not in our meditation time, but taking time to process what comes up, we would see that those thoughts are very lack, very much lacking truth or permanence of any kind. If you can keep meditating today, I invite you to do so. Bringing your awareness to your center. If you can just hold, not even hold, but just be in that peace. that quiet, that stillness, as long as possible. And even if it comes and goes, any amount of time, it's such a wonderful rest for our hearts, our minds, our bodies. And if you need to go about your day, I invite you to take a deep breath or two. Feel your body in the chair. Feel your surroundings. The sounds, the air, the room you're in. And even as you go about your day, you can still have a part of you watching inside, keeping that inner space clear as possible. And the beautiful practice for today and for the week ahead I thank you all for joining me today and your flexibility <laughs> with the space around me, at least. So thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.